Now, when you're a Georgia grad like me, you like to make a racket about them dogs and never compliment a yellow jacket. But you could never think like that. No, you just wouldn't dare. Not with this grad of Georgia Tech, a man with skills so rare. This is Eddie Lee Ivory. Thompson, Georgia, near Augusta, has a pretty rich history when it comes to football players. You've probably heard of Ray Guy or Jasper Brinkley, and one of Georgia Tech's all-time greats is from Thompson, Eddie Lee Ivory. In 1974, the first-team All-State product rushed for over 1,700 yards his senior season and promptly committed to play his college football on the flats at Georgia Tech. As a Yellow Jacket, he stamped his mark on the record book by rushing for over 3,500 yards at almost six yards per carry. At one time, Ivory held the NCAA single game rushing record. He galloped 356 yards in the snow against an Air Force team coached by Bill Parcells in 1978. That year, he was an All-American and finished eighth in the final Heisman Trophy balloting. He still holds the Tech's single season rushing mark of 1,562 yards and is third on the all-time school rushing list behind Robert Levette and yet another Thompson High alum, Jerry Mays. His stellar career at Tech prompted the Green Bay Packers to select Eddie Lee in the first round of the 1979 NFL Draft. Unfortunately, Ivory's pro career turned into a what could have been after suffering a torn ACL in only the fourth play of his first NFL season. He did rebound, however, and spent eight years on the frozen tundra, amassing 2,900 yards and scoring 23 touchdowns for the pack. But as fate would have it, more injuries would plague his production and eventually force him to retire. Ivory returned to Georgia Tech to complete his degree, has worked not only with the Jackets football program, but returned to his hometown as an assistant coach in football and track at Thompson. He was inducted into the Georgia Tech Hall of Fame in 1983, is a member of the Tech all-time team, and tonight, the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame is proud to induct into their class of 2020, Eddie Lee Ivory. And this, this Bulldog is honored to bring this yellow jacket to the stage, Eddie Lee Ivory. First, I would like to thank God just for allowing me to be here tonight. I would like to thank the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame members and committee for selecting me to the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. Now, I am humbly excited to be here tonight along with these other inductees. Congratulations, General. Joining me here tonight for this celebration is my great family, man. Thank you guys for coming. My lovely wife, Antoinette, my, my kids, Eddie and Tavia, and, and, and my baby girl, Gabriella, and all of my nieces, nephews, cousins. Man, thank you all guys for coming to celebrate. <laughs> now, I'm totally convinced that I would not be up here on this stage if it had not been for the impact that other people had on my life. Starting with my mom and my grandmama who's in heaven. Thank you for all the sacrifice that you had to make just to, so that me and my sister can be able to go to school. Hey, thanks to all my, my coaches and my teammates, man, and especially my offensive linemen, man, because you guys made it possible for me to be the football player that I was. Thank you very much. Thank you to McDuffie County. 
especially my teachers, man, because you guys, you prepared me academically in the classroom so that I can qualify and be, be recruited and receive a scholarship from the best engineering school in the world, Georgia Tech. And, and Georgia Tech, whoa, man. Hey, Pepper Rogers, Coach Dick Spectrum, thank you guys for teaching me what uh, integrity is all about. Because when you recruited me, Coach Bestwick, who's in heaven right now, you said, Eddie Lee, not only do we want you to play football at Georgia Tech, but we want you to graduate from Georgia Tech. And when I left uh, to play in the NFL, I did not graduate. After spending eight years with the Green Bay Packers, I returned back to my hometown in Thompson, Georgia, to pursue my co second career in coaching, with no intention of ever going back to Georgia Tech to graduate. But there's one day, just out of the blue sky, I received a phone call from Dick Bestwick, who now was the assistant AD at the University of Georgia. I, from his office at the University of Georgia, Coach Dick Bestwick called Eddie Lee Ivory and said, Eddie Lee, we told you 10 years ago that we not only wanted you to play football at Georgia Tech, but we wanted you to graduate. And Lo and behold, he said that, now, uh, you get your butt back up there and graduate. And if they don't, gra if they, if they don't gra uh, let you back in school to graduate you at Georgia Tech, we're going to bring you down here to the University of Georgia. Uh, I got a call from Georgia Tech the very next week. <laughs> from my good friend Jack Thompson, who been there with me through all my ups and my downs, and Todd Stansberry, who was the academic di uh, director at that time, uh, at, who is now the head coach at Georgia Tech, the guys found a way to put me back on scholarship and allow me to graduate from Georgia Tech 12 years later. Thank you. I'm, I'm about finished the music. All right. I want to thank the, 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 the Green Bay Packers for drafting me in the first round because you gave me the opportunity to experience many different things in life that an old country boy like me could have dreamed of. You made that dream come true when you drafted me in the first round. And finally, man, I want to thank this game of football. Thank you, Mr. Football, for all the principles that, that, that you taught me, man, when I played with you. Thank you for the principles that you told me that I was going to need when I have to prepare myself for life after football. Because, see, when I played with you, Mr. Football, I, got, I fell down and I got knocked down. But you told me, Eddie Lee, get up and try it again. When I played with you, you told me that I was going to face many obstacles in my life. You told me that time was going to get tough sometime. And you told me that was going to be time I felt like throwing in the towel. But you looked me straight in the eye and you quoted those famous words of Jim Valvano, Eddie Lee Ivory, don't give up. Don't you ever, ever give up. Thank you very much.